Hi everyone, Rob Power here with another useful paper writing tip. This time for writing papers if you plan on submitting them for journal publication. Usually when you're submitting for journal publication you have to submit a blinded copy for blind or anonymous peer review. And in order to do that you have to remove all identifying information from your paper. I'm going to bring up a sample of a blinded paper here and quickly show you some additional steps to take to make sure that there's no identifying information in the paper. This is a blinded paper that was submitted to me by a student in EDUC 5101. So there should be no identifying information in here. And as you can see, there is no student name or student ID in the title or in the footer, which is good and according to the uh, assignment instructions. However, there's an additional step that you should take just to make sure that there's no identifying information in your paper. To do that in Microsoft Word, click on the File tab and you can quickly check by clicking on Properties and Show the Documents panel. And you'll see that my name is in here because I created the template, so I'm the owner of the original document. So there is still some potentially identifying information in here. Now the quickest way to get rid of all of that is to go back to the File tab and click on Check for Issues under Prepare for Sharing. So if I click on Inspect Document, I'll get a bunch of potential issues here that I can check for. So what do I want to check for? I'm going to check for all of these and it'll give me a report. And here you can see I've got exclamation points next to a couple of these. Now I know that the name and identifying information has re been removed from the headers and footers so I'm going to ignore that as well as the custom XML data for now. But in this case the document properties and personal information I'm just going to click on remove all, reinspect, and now I don't have an exclamation point there, so I should be fairly confident. So I can close that. And if I click on my document panel again, now I'll see that there is no author information under the documents panel here. And if I go back, I can click under properties and click advanced properties. And you will see that it has the name of the paper and the dates and times that is created and modified, but there is no identifying information left here. So that is the extra step that you should take to make sure that you have removed all personally identifying information from a paper before submitting it to a journal or to a committee for blind peer review.